The ultimate goal, and we've heard this time and time again from our customers as we go out and talk to them, is they want our software to work the way they work. From my perspective, in order to make something intuitive, it has to be familiar. Workflows and, and user expectations are a huge part of what we use in creating an intu intuitive design. Workflow is uh, huge. We go kind of through painstaking efforts to walk through, put ourselves in the, the state of the mind of the user. If we don't do that, we're just guessing at what they need and, and how they need to flow through the information. So our team does a lot of contextual and observational research. One big aha moment we had here is we were always um, from a navigation standpoint in our software, we were always putting up pieces of equipment and saying, okay, here's a VAV box, now go troubleshoot something that's wrong in this room. And one of those big aha moments was is everyone was looking for the room. It should be buildings and floors and rooms and groups of buildings. And we said, we need to start making spaces navigation for our customers because that's how they think about their buildings. So a hot, cold, hot or a cold call comes in and that's just where the occupant is, is too hot or too cold. It's okay, they're in room 102. What is the equipment that's in that room and how do I figure out where the problem is? They'll see a bar graph, you know, of, of the temperature spikes within any given area. I've had customers that have, are seasoned and the first time they saw the serving relationships between equipment, they came back from meetings and said, boy, I could have used that today. If I would have been able to pinpoint that it was really the air handler that was causing the problem and not the AV box serving the room, would have saved me all kinds of time. The benefits of providing that world-class user experience are vast. For our customers, it's really about improving their bottom line. The way that we do that is by making their staff more productive. We're really just trying to make this as easy on them as possible so that they can focus on their real goals of keeping their occupants happy, saving money, running a building efficiently. That's really what it's all about.